south side when it hit us in the morning ripped our TPO roof off starting on the south side of the building moving north and the majority of our roof was sitting on top of the plaza grill which is part of the building just adjacent to us and then other parts of our roof ended up taking out the Wendy's air units which are across the street across US 1 from us we didn't understand or know truly what the devastation was until one day after the storm when we walked into the building. The ceiling in our art gallery completely collapsed, so the room that we're in right now was basically underwater too, from rain, fresh rainwater. Um, it was fairly daunting when we first walked into the building. We started literally shoveling ceiling tiles into garbage cans and dragging them out to the curb. And what saved Marathon Community Theater and, and this cultural hub in the Middle Keys was the fact that we acted immediately. I got up to an area in Grassy Key where I could get on a satellite phone and got a hold of our administrative assistant and I instructed her, file a claim with FEMA, file a claim with SBA, file, file for a loan with SBA, file a claim with our citizens account and let everybody know we're okay. It's a daunting process at times, however, FEMA really, really, really is there when you need them and they have come through for us. We were able to call people who walked us through the areas that we were having difficulty with so that all of our applications went in in a timely fashion. The big thing is getting started. It is worth the effort to get this done. Get your FEMA number, get registered and get your FEMA number as soon as possible because that allows you to access the system and get the help you need in getting the paperwork done. Before most businesses were even getting electricity in, we were showing movies and had people coming in here to try and help curb the pain and anxiety from such a devastating storm. 